So a while ago, I did a video showing you guys step by step how to create a PayPal account here in Nigeria. And now that video is almost one year old and I decided to do an update and also based on requests. So here we go. Now I'm on the PayPal.com website. This is the Nigerian version of PayPal. And right now you can see that it's just showing me personal. There is nothing else you can. If, you, if I um, hover over it, you can see I can send payments. I cannot receive payments. But here is another version of this website which is um, the UAE, which is the one we're going to use to open. You can see there is more options. We have personal, we have business. And um, even under the personal, um, you can see send payments, get paid, and all the full features, the full power of PayPal. First of all, we're opening a UAE account in Nigeria. So we're not going to use any VPNs. We're also not going to um, use any fake documents or fake phone numbers. We're going to use our real number. All the documents are going to be Nigerian documents. So no shady business here. That's number one. Number two is we're creating this account. It's going to be a business account as though we are creating a business in the UAE, but we still live in Nigeria. That's kind of like the way you want, you want to think about this account. So everything, even if you have any issues and you ask to provide your documents, you provide your Nigerian documents, you're going to get alerts. You're going to get, um, um, OTP sent to your account actual phone and email so with all of that out of the way let's get going so you want to click on sign up and then like i said we're going to select the business option and we're going to click on continue and so now the next thing would be to enter our email address so i'm going to do that quickly and then i'll click on continue and now i have the option to choose a password i've imputed my password and i am going to click on continue so now we are going to put in our legal name. So you want to put in the name in, in whatever document you're going to tie to this account. So just to run down first name, last name, you are going to select a business name. Of course, you don't have to have a registered business or anything. You can just come up with a business name for your business because you're um, creating a business account. They're not going to ask you for any registration documents or all of that. You then provide your phone number and then your address and we can move on to the next section. So let me fill in those information real quick. So now, as you can see, I've entered in all the information that I need. So I have selected a business name. I have also put in my phone number. And very importantly, this is a Nigerian number. You can see here that Nigeria is listed here. It's part of the drop. It's part of the countries in the drop down. So this is a real Nigerian number. The address as well is Nigerian. You are just going to select one city because there is nothing you can do here. There's no Nigerian options here. We're opening a business in the UAE. So we're going to select the city as Abu Dhabi, but you can choose any one that you want. And then I'm just going to select here and say, um, I agree to the terms and all of that. And then I'm going to click on agree and continue. So now in the next section, we have to describe our business. So I'm just going to say individual proprietorship, type in a product or service for this. I'm going to say, so for this, I'm going to say digital goods, media and books and something like that. And this is optional. The website, if you want to put in a website, that's fine. For those of you who like to read, you can check out our blog on our website, thebrimfactor.com. Shameless plug there. So um, let's keep going. So I click on continue. So in the next part, we are going to give more information to PayPal. It says here, tell us about yourself, date of birth, the identity and all of that. Now I've put in my date of birth and I have also put in the nationality as Nigeria. Again, guys, Nigeria, do not try to do anything. Do not say UAE here, else you're going to be required to um, provide a UAE document when it comes to document for identification. And that's where I think a lot of people who follow through this guide always make a mistake. And that's why I needed to do an update because some people watch the video and try to skip certain things. And then when they get to the point here, they don't know what I did. And, and maybe they feel because I'm creating a UAE account, then they have to provide and um, say that they are from the UAE. But really guys here, you must, it's very important. You must say that um, you are from Nigeria. And then I'm going to select the type of ID. Um, I'm going to say I will use my passport. And again, I did a video talking about why I think the passport is more important because you want to kind of give PayPal the idea that you travel a bit. So um, a, an international passport will always be a higher form of identification as compared to other kinds of ID that you might have that are just specifically Nigerian, like your voter's card, your national ID and, and stuff like that. So if you have a passport, make sure you use that. You're going to be upping your chances of having success with this. So I'm going to provide the passport number there, um, select home address as same, and I will move on to say submit. So now guys, once I submitted, you can see that the account has been created. 
and there are no limitations it wasn't blocked and a lot of you have been complaining to me that you do this your account is immediately blocked or limited or something but the only notifications i have on this new account are just two notifications saying i should confirm my email and link and confirm my debit or credit card okay so these are just normal so the account is completely fine as a matter of fact i'm just going to go in now and confirm the email so that we get that first notification out of the way i've gotten a number of emails from paypal and one of them is to confirm my email so i'm just going to click here and say confirm and i just need to enter my password i've been redirected to my paypal and if i go back down you can see that the first notification is gone and our email has been confirmed so the next thing now to do to lift any limitations whatsoever on this account is to link and confirm a debit or credit card. I have a series of videos on how to um, get a card or a bank account, a US bank account that works fine with your PayPal account. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to um, those videos and you can make a choice what account or what card you want to have linked to your PayPal account. So let me know in the comment section if you have any problems trying to do this and I'll do my best to guide you but you've seen it works, it still works like a charm and also consider watching this video next and i'll see you in the next one take care